Welcome back, everyone, to Dual Destinies. Well, now, I'm wondering one thing and one thing alone. Uh, two things. <laughs> the first thing was the first thing, which is, I wonder how long this is going to be. Do you think that we'll end it on the day two trial for this one? Who knows? We'll see. Usually that's what happens, but I have a feeling it's probably going to be a long process. And the second question is, even with my voice, how am I going to deal with having not only Prosecutor Blackwill, but Dr. Crab in the same room. We'll find out. Probably make a face much like this, if I had to guess. Um, because that's what I do all the time when I see those two. <laughs> what? Yo, this ship's doctor and like Azura were romantically involved? Oh, I guess, <laughs> I guess we're just spilling everybody's business. Well, that, that didn't take long. It's not a secret. <laughs> the secret's out! Yeah, I was about to blow up some stuff too. Like, this is ridiculous. We're getting some freaking tea and drama now. I can feel it. Well, that's my theory, but I don't actually know if it's true. It doesn't matter. I think you're still talking to everybody's business. That's what I would do. No, I don't talk people's business. Don't worry. Like, Azura would never get involved with that cod awful ship doctor. I saw that pun. It was pretty funny. But, like, I do admit they were friends. But, like, would Azura send Dr. Crab videos, I wonder? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, what kind of video? What? What kind of videos? What? Why did that come up? I know what she means. But I'm just saying that it sounds... Nude videos? OnlyFans? Pornhub? Wait, oh yeah? Fansly? Videos? What do you mean? Oh, I'll explain it to you later. Like, Azuri used to send her boyfriend videos of herself teaching the orca tricks. Oh. 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 That's much worse than OnlyFans, guys. That's worse than what I thought it was gonna be. Like, I used to help Azuri take videos on her TV phone. You used to call me on your TV phone. Just the, f just the words TV phone are just so odd. This is an interesting bit of information. Oh, the TV phone is updated. You know, if you think about it now, guys, every cell phone is a TV phone, just about. I mean, if you have a smartphone. Summer's boyfriend had videos of her using a whistle to make the orca do tricks. That's... That's bad. Isn't it? Oh, dear. I don't want it to be him. I really don't. So TV phones can shoot videos too, huh? My dumb phone sure can't. Oh, no. Phoenix is still using that Nokia. He's still got that Nokia going on. Listen, some people just have it. There's nothing you can do about it. These TV phones are like amazing. They can even record sounds you and I can't hear. All the equipment we use at ShipShape Aquarium is high tech. It still looks like a Nokia though. Just a Nokia with a fine screen, that's all. The ship's doctor like sends away for all kinds of electronics. So all the high tech stuff is Dr. Krabs doing, huh? Yeah, he seems like he's into it. Like, anyway, I still highly trout Hazura's boyfriend was the ship's doctor. Ha ha. But Dr. Crab found a charm yesterday, and he was really shaken by it. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And didn't I say it could have been him? Hey, leave that alone, Morty. That belonged to Azura. What was Azura's charm doing in Rifle's stomach? That charm looked just like your keepsake of Azura. Yeah, well, well, well... Like, she did say that she and her boyfriend had matching charms. Like, was the ship's doctor and Azura really a couple, though? I can't believe it. I think Dr. Crab will be called in as a witness today. There are still so many unanswered questions. But I hope to solve them all in today's trial. I believe in you, too. Like, I know you can do it. We got you, girl. We're gonna do our best. And we will, Sasha. We promise. God, if my voice holds out. I'm sorry, I really have been sick. Like, I thought maybe it was just a passing thing. Nah, I got, a, you know, I got that full-blown. It's not COVID, don't worry. It, it's just, it's that full-blown, like, winter cold that like, seems to be making its rounds. Thankfully, it's not that flu that seems to be going on, because that, that seems really bad. Oh, my God. Okay, court is now in session. All rise for the prestigious, beautiful, and bald judge. Oh, my God, judge. How are you? How is your freaking head today? Court is now a session for the trial of Sasha Buckler. The defense is ready, but... Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, hello, friend. Did you come visit me? Yeah, what up? You're looking very, very angry and also beautiful today. Just how I like them. Ready. 
Oh, wait, 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 why did you interrupt me? I hadn't even finished. I'm now completely thrown off. Listen, we're all thrown off by his beauty, Phoenix. All right, we've got a problem. We've got two beautiful people in here today. What are we gonna do? Very good. It appears that both the prosecution and the defense were ready. Yesterday was proven that the Orca was not guilty and that the victim fell to his death. Prosecutor Blackwell, does your investigation of the Orca pool turn up anything? Did it? Did you even look? Did you even, did you, what did you do when you were over there? Other than like, you know, throw me off completely. Did you do anything? I'm sure he did, he seems very thorough. <laughs> it did. We found a blood stain from the victim at the bottom of the pool. On this. Ah, so they found the same thing we did. Okay. Oh my, what a frightening looking rock. And you say it has a blood stain on it? Hmm. Just looking at it gives me the willies. It does. It, it looks like Thanos' skull, which is also gross. I think I said Goron's skull before. D both of those are not really pleasant things. <laughs> so can we assume that there was no water in the pool at the time of the incident? I don't know. I mean, that's what we're assuming, right? Fell to his death when the water was either too low to save him or no water at all. Very good. What a clever little deduction. Wow, how can you talk down to the judge like that and not get slammed? I just don't understand. Ho ho, well, it's nice to get a compliment from the prosecution for Oh, <laughs> listen, I, I am fully on board with your praise kink because listen, we've all been there, but like, that is not what he was doing. You gotta turn yourself around there, judge. Don't be such a doormat. Oh, Prosecutor Blackwell has completely tamed the judge with his carrot and stick approach. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think, guys, I can't even breathe. Like, this is too much for me. I'm supposed to be in bed resting. <laughs> this could be the death of me. Like, we don't know. This this could be the LP that does it. And every time, every time I've played an Ace Attorney game or the Miles Edgeworth games before this, I've always said that. I could be like, this is the game. This is the game that could end me. No, we, we could be having it right here, though. I guess I should have brought a few carrots of my own. <laughs> oh, stop. I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> right, moving along, I have prepared a witness. I'm sure you have. Buckler was the only one who attended that room when there was no water in the pool. The witness will prove that. Come to the stand, witness. Gotta do what you're told and Blackwell tells you, eh? Oh boy. Boy, I'm gonna get it from every angle. Oh, <laughs> this is the best day ever, isn't it? Although both of their voices are absolutely gonna wreck me. By the time this is over, uh, I'm probably gonna have to like not talk for a few days. Name and occupation. Dr. Herman. <laughs> Hello, Sniper. Oh, you brought her. Hello, how are you? Oh, Sniper, stay in there. Oh, uh, and who is that cute little creature? <laughs> Such a restless bird, quite unlike Taka. Listen, but you like birds, right? Uh, Blackwell, do you like, do you like Sniper? I bet that he does. I bet that he would like him. Aw. Aw, oh, she, he, <laughs> Sniper got scared of Taka. Wow, Chalk went up for Taka. He shut Sniper up with a single sound. Birds be like, that's bird drama. Son of a gun, Morty, Dr. Herman Crab, ship shape aquarium is veterinarian. And could you tell us the name of your cute little friend there as well? Your Honor, please focus on the case. That's me right now. I'm not focusing. <laughs> all I'm doing is looking at hot dudes. That's my fucking life, y'all. But it's important to learn all we can about the witness. Morty the Sniper. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, little friend. She's the offspring of a penguin named Rifle. Sniper lives in my hair. She might cause a commotion now and then, but please try to ignore her. I was only, I was originally going to call the animal keeper to the stand. But he refused to testify, so I settled on the veterinarian. Now tell us. Why was the defendant in the orca pool room when the water was drained? What if he doesn't know? What then? Oh, Jesus, here we freaking go. All right. Cleaning the orca pool room. Well, I can't wait to hear about this. Morty, in the early morning hours of July 20th, Sasha was cleaning the orca pool room. Sasha and Jack Shipley, the owner, were scheduled to do the cleaning together. During cleaning, though, Morty, the pool water's drained. While the cleaning was going on, Marlon was taking care of the orca in the show pool. Well, the pool water would never be drained unless the pool was being cleaned. Wait a minute. Wait, but that... 
did I miss something? That all seemed quite true and very factual. Hmm. What are we going to do with that? And your claim is that the victim was made to fall to his death during the cleaning? That's probably what the angle he's going for, yeah. T Only Buckler and her owner had the security card necessary to enter the orca pool room. And we already know from the security company's record of card usage that the defendant was in the orca pool room during the time of cleaning. The witness's testimony and the record of security card usage are conclusive evidence. I agree that it looks bad, but we gotta find something. So, no one besides the defendant was at the scene and the water in the pool was drained. Uh-oh. The judge already seems to be leaning towards the other side. I mean, that is pretty decisive evidence. We've gotta find something, surely. We have to strike fast. Your Honor, we're ready for our cross-examination now. Boy, Athena's raring to go. Oh, yes, of course. Please proceed, then. Yeah, what, do you think I showed up for nothing? The power of youth comes in handy at times like these. Phoenix, you're not even old. Phoenix, shut up! I'm like 10 years older than you, boy. At least. Oh, I can't handle this. Uh, you know what? I'm taking old ass Dr. Crab and I'm leaving. <laughs> Us old people got places to be. Like, uh, I don't know. The AARP office. <laughs> I don't, I don't freaking know. All right. Cleaning the Oracle pool room. Well, I'm just going to press everything. Jesus. In the early morning hours of July 20th, Sasha was cleaning the orca pool. I mean, I feel these are all very factual, but Hold it. let's just see if he says anything different. Why is the cleaning done so early in the morning, essentially the middle of the night? Well, morning our aquariums open every day of the year without break. So, of course, the cleaning has to be done at night when there are no visitors. Tch. No days off, is that it? I can relate to that. What do you mean? All you do is sit in a jail. What? Yeah, I guess prisoners don't get to take days off. Oh, I guess so. In that case, I, I don't know. Listen, I haven't seen too many prison shows. Things sure are different around our office, huh, boss? You don't have to rub it in quite so enthusiastically. Uh, <laughs> oh! I, okay, stop. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Send them all to me on Twitter and I'm gonna retweet them. And not say a word. <laughs> so, was the defendant cleaning alone? No. Hell yeah, just no. That's it. Sasha and Jack Shipley, the owner, were scheduled to do the cleaning together, Morty. Okay. Hold it! Whew, what do we do with that? But Miss Buckler said that Miss Shipley never showed up to help with the cleaning. I, I don't know anything about that, Morty. All I know is what was on the schedule. Maybe they changed plans. They probably felt awkward with each other after their fight. Oh, that's gonna come into play too. Big time. In any case, there's no proof that the victim entered the orca pool during cleaning. Objection! Yes, darling, I was waiting to hear it. I knew that you were gonna say something. If you don't stop your yammering, I'll pull your tongue out and barbecue it. Listen, don't... don't threaten me with a good time there. What are you gonna do? Do you have to be so violent? He's into it, Phoenix. It's clear. Proof and none, the victim must have entered the pool room during cleaning. Witness, tell him why. Jack must have entered the pool room, Morty. The reason I think so is because... The record of card usage shows that Sasha entered the orca pool room. Right. Hold it! Right, right. Jesus Christ. Don't you mean to say the record shows both of their cards being used? No, Morty, only Sasha's, but they must have gone in together. Jack's body was found in that room, so that's the only logical explanation. There's gotta be another. We talked about this just yesterday. What purpose does that brain of yours serve? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about what it does. What, what's that brain do? <laughs> Morty, you're even more bird brain than rifle. Oh no! Listen, I'm getting- Stop it! I'm getting bullied from both of them now? Both these hot dudes are bullying me? You need to stop or something might happen. Objection. Don't bully me! <laughs> I might skew everywhere. Witness, I will not allow birds to be belittled in my presence. Oh shit, he's standing up for a rifle. That's funny. Limit your disparaging comments to the defense alone. What the f- Listen, you guys can take this kink and leave with it. Uh, with me in tow. I mean, what? So I get disparaged either way? Great. Tch. Bird lover, huh, Morty? Well, I guess we're not destined to become best friends. <clears throat> it's funny that he hates them so much, but they seem to like him. 
That's just fine. All I need for you is to talk about the state of the scene during cleaning. Blackwell, you just basically said it and you want to be your friend. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I don't see these two getting along. They have too much of the same energy. One's more laid back, of course, but still, you, with that kind of energy, probably not. That's too much masculine energy. All right, Morty, fine. Oh, I don't know. I think the two of them were made for each other. Maybe in some kind of, oh, wait a minute. I have the question. Is there any Tojin about that? Um, I need to know for, for science reasons, of course, and, and no other reasons. During cleaning, the pool water is drained. I mean, that seems like a factual statement, but let's hear more about that. So the cleaning is done with the pool drained of water? That's right, Morty. They use the hoist there to lower themselves to the bottom of the pool. That makes sense. I mean, they got to scrub it, surely. They can do regular cleaning with water in the pool, but this was an intensive session. I never clean my own lab, however. Uh oh. Is that why it looks so dirty? Don't you think it might be due, then? I mean, I guess I can't talk, though. Yeah, cleaning is hard if you let it go too long. Well, Morty, Sasha, and Marlin come in and clean for me on occasion. Oh, you let them do that, do you? That's nice. But I'm too busy myself. I have animals to look after. <laughs> like this one, for example. Such an adorable little creature. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All these male voices are gonna kill me. It lends cheer to this bleak courtroom. Listen, you could jazz it up. You could put some curtains in here or something. Maybe some flowers. It, listen, the things could be done. Your reaction to Taka was very different, as I recall. Listen, Taka is cool. Let's not mince words, but I wouldn't say that he's, like, adorable. But he's awesome. That's, that's, that counts for something, doesn't it? Oh, oh, Taka's a fine bird, too, of course. Uh, uh, please continue, Dr. Crab, quickly, now. I was saying, Morty, oh, Sasha was cleaning the orca pool room. Uh, while the cleaning was going on, Marlin was taking care of the orca in the show pool. Right. I, I have nothing so far. Have I missed something? So Orla was moved all the way over to the show pool? Why is that? Because there was no water, Phoenix! Well, it wouldn't do to get her covered in cleanser, would it, Morty? Of course she was moved. That too. You don't take a bath while you're cleaning the tub, do you? Ew! Please tell me no one's done that. I will clean the shower when I'm in it, right? Because I'm already I'm already wet, soaped up. I'm, I've got the cleanser and the scrubby in my hand. And, you know, I can use the detachable head to get the walls, right? Does anyone else do that? And the glass. That makes sense, but not a bath. No, that's gross. Excellent point. I only clean the tub after I take a bath myself. That's how you should do it. I was assigned to clean the shower stools yesterday. Oh, were you in there when you were doing it? Like I do. Were you all naked and soaked up? I mean, that's something I'd like to think about, actually. They were cleaner than an Edo bathhouse by the time I was done. I bet they were. I bet you are meticulous about hygiene and cleanliness. That's another good point for you. Check mark for me. I guess Prosecutor Blackwell is the fastidious type. I'm into it. He seems like he is. I polished it so well. I bet the inmates are slipping and sliding up all over right up. Gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> I don't know, what? God, I feel like it's my birthday or something. Oh, maybe it's not as much as the fastidious type as the prankster type. Listen, that's funny too. Somehow I don't think that's it either. No, Athena, you're, uh, she is so me. No, she knows. She was thinking of it sexually too. Girl, we are twinsies. Besties for life, you and me. Uh, anyway, Morty, cleaning the orca pool is just like cleaning the tub. Yeah, to use Vim. I use Vim. That's what I use. That and the power paste from the scrub daddy. <laughs> Speaking of scrub daddy, Dr. Crab, the pool water would never be drained unless the pool was being cleaned. All right. Hold it. Is that true? I mean, it must be, right? There's no possibility it would be drained at any other time than during cleaning. I mean, this could be the thing we're looking for here if there's an angle to that. None. Oh, shot down with a single word. It happens. Why are you so certain? Well, think about it, Morty. If the pool water were drained, what would happen to the orca? <gasps> the poor thing. Whose side are you on, Athena? Exactly, young lady. Without water, Orla would be all right for a short period of time. But Morty, anything longer than that would pose serious risks. She could even die. Yeah, that's true. 
So the fact that Orla is alive and well is proof that the water wasn't drained on her? That's right, Morty. But what if she was in the different pool at the time? The Orca pool and the show stage pool are next door to each other. This is so dumb. Do you know what they need to have? They need to have a little tube in the middle where the Orca can swim through and then that, that closes off here and there. That's what all aquariums have, I thought. A little channel where they can go. A hoist runs between the two to move the Orca and equipment back and forth. Imagine picking her up every time you have to do that. When intensive cleaning is done, the Orca is moved to the show stage pool first. So the water's only drained while the pool's being cleaned. Huh. Hmm. Please add that information to your testimony. What does it mean, though? If there were no water in the pool, the orca could die. What? Do we have anything for that, though? That seems odd. Something's weird here. I don't, I don't know what we have, though. I don't think so. Wait, 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 what's this got? Pool bottom photo. Oh, wait, it's right here, actually. It's, what about, what about the divider? What about the divider? Could you have cleaned part of it? Is that a thing, maybe? I'm gonna try it. Oh, whoops. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't go too far, but oh my god. Don't worry about me, I'm, I'm still waking up today. Present the pool photo. Objection! Yeah, dude, okay, that, uh, that's probably the thing. I didn't even think about it. If the water in the pool is drained, you say the orca could die. But is that necessarily true? What are you talking about, Morty? There is a way to let the water out without harming the orca, isn't there? Your Honor. Allow me to submit this photograph. Look at this photograph. Oh, this is... As you can see, there's no water around the Skull Rock area. With the pool and the state, the victim could have been made to fall to his death. However, there is water on the other side of the partition. Oh my God. There sure is. You know what I'm thinking now? I bet you guys are thinking it too. And Orla looks just fine. What about that then, sir? Son of a bitch. In other words, if the partition is set up at the bottom of the pool, the water can be drained without doing Orla any harm. Yeah, why wouldn't he mention that part? That's a bit concerning, is it not? Are you implying that the water could have been drained at any time other than during cleaning? Yes, there is that possibility. Dr. Crab is shaking. It looks like he has something to hide. Oh, I'm worried about this. Could it have something to do with the calendar note about meeting with the victim? It might. I'll submit it to the judge. Your Honor, please take a look at this calendar. Didn't we show him this the last time? Oh, you waved that around in court yesterday. No need to drag out your souvenir today. Whoa, whoa. don't talk about my dick that way. Wait, what? Uh, actually, I'd like you to make note of the entry for the day of the incident. Let me see here. Meet the captain at the orca pool at 7 a.m. Oh, this note is about meeting planned with the victim. What? Oh, you didn't know that, did you, boy? Hey? How about that? Stick that in your pants, along with me. The defense would like to argue that at the time of that meeting, the pool may have been drained of its water. Well, whose calendar is this? It belongs to Dr. Herman Crabb. Isn't that right, Dr. Crabb? No, come on, tell me he didn't do this. Son of a bitch, you suspect me, do you? I want him to be good. What is the meaning of this calendar entry, Dr. Crab? Explain yourself. Fine, Morty. I was supposed to meet Jack at the Orca Pool at that time. But I ended up not going. So you're saying you simply broke your promise? You can't get out of it that easily. I believe you have some explaining to do. Objection! What is it, what? I was enjoying the rabble, I was basking in it, because it's rabble for me. Your blade is sharper than I thought, right, Dino? But your cut was shallow. A mere surface scratch. Listen, I'm just getting started. I don't put it in all the way when I just start out. Maybe you do. There's a saying amongst prisoners. Do not see, hear, nor speak to smooth-talking lawyers. Is that why you became one? You think the witness is suspicious. Show your proof. Ugh, the 
calendar alone isn't good enough, huh? I have to prove the victim could have fallen to his death at 7 a.m. meeting time. Well, let's put our heads together, boss. The victim could have fallen during cleaning when the pool was completely drained. Or, using the partition, it could have been at 7 a.m. with the water partially drained. What would be the major difference in the circumstances between these two possibilities? Hmm, what circumstance was different? The answer could really tell us something. What circumstance was different between the two possibilities of cleaning at 7 a.m.? Pool is half filled. The orca was there. The orca was there! That would make a difference. If the pool was completely drained, Orla wasn't there. If it was divided, I'm sorry guys. If it was divided, then Orla was there. So that's gotta be it. If the murder occurred at a time other than during cleaning, the orca must have been there. Oh, you're right. And that would mean that Orla witnessed the murder. What's this? You're sheathing your sword so soon. Oh, uh, you want more? <laughs> but babe, don't worry, I'm here for you. Stop yammering to each other and show me how you wield your sword. Listen, we're in court. Can you just fucking wait? God, he's he's just really on. All right, then my sword is <laughs> fucking hell. This is a bells. I am the bone of my sword. Oh, Jesus Christ. If I knew the rest of it, I'd tell you, but you guys know I'm sure. <laughs> I'm the blade of my sword, I think is what it's actually. I, the bone of my sword is just like a meme, isn't it? If the murder was committed at a time other than during cleaning time, then Orla must have been present at the scene. If I can prove that the murder happened right in front of Orla, then I can prove that Miss Buckler is not guilty. Ooh, the rabble. Oh, he really does look like Spike from behind, doesn't he? I guess a little bit from the front, too. He's got the same look as Spike from Cowboy Bebop, but I don't really like Spike from Cowboy Bebop. I'm gonna go with the Rick and Morty slash Doc from Back to the Future, because I like them better. Order, order in the court, Mr. Wright. Are you implying that the orca was a witness to the crime? That is exactly what I'm implying. Yeah, but what do we do with that information? Does that even, does that even hold weight? And? How do you intend to prove that the orca witnessed the murder? That's a good question, that's fair. What are you going to do? Put the orca on the stand and cross-examine her? This is a critical point. I'd better think about it carefully. What do we got, Phoenix? The defense will- Wait! How do we do this? What do we have? We can't cross-examine her. That's out. Continuing with Dr. Crab, I don't know. Is he going to be able to say anything? I think he's just going to balk at it. Present evidence. What, if, what evidence do we have? Here's what I'm thinking, right? This is my initial thought. I think we do have something. In that same picture with it divided, right? We had luminol all over the, the whale and we proved that the whale was bleeding, right? Which means that she at some point had to have hit her head on the rock. But when? Would that be enough? to show that she was in the same part of the place as the rock at some point in time? I don't know. Because what other evidence do we have? I'm gonna try it. The defense will present evidence. Evidence that will prove Orla witnessed the murder. Yeah, because with Blackwell, evidence is really all that's gonna stand for him, right? You're going to present evidence? Knowing the defense, I thought surely you would try to cross-examine the orca. I was, listen, what happens when you say that, guys? Is it funny? Did I miss out on a funny thing? I should have said it, to be honest, but my throat is just in such a way that I'm trying to get some done before I have to go here soon. I must say I'm a little disappointed. No, he wanted me to say cross examine the aura, but then he would have yelled at me if I said it. So no freaking way, dude. I'm not falling into your trap. What, man? Very well, let's see this evidence then. Here it is, whip it out, Phoenix. What evidence shows that the murder took place right in front of the orca? I still think it's the photo. I think it's this. Take that! I hope I'm right. This photo indicates where we discovered luminol reactions yesterday. By accident, we got some of the luminol testing fluid on Orla. We were then very surprised to see... Luminol reactions on Orla's body. Objection. What do you mean? So what of it? There's nothing odd about that. As was discussed in yesterday's trial, the orca was bleeding. Traces of the orca's blood were also found on the skull rock. The orca must have injured herself when she rammed it. So that cloud of blood Mr. Plume saw, 
Yeah, for sure. Oh no, but Orla got hurt. I don't like that. Skull Rock updated. Oh shit. The victim slammed into it when he fell. Orla also rammed into it. It had been moved from the show pool. Those luminal reactions you saw in the orc are most likely from her head body. Objection! Yeah, but wait a minute. We gotta talk about the time here. But what's odd is the position of those blood stains. That too, I didn't think of. Look at this photograph. Yesterday, Mr. Plume said the blood disappeared when Orla put on the hat. That testimony indicated that Orla's injuries were under the hat area. However, these luminol reactions are in two entirely separate areas from her injuries. The one thing I didn't think of, and I don't know why I didn't even notice, what about the one on her back, though? The head one I kind of got, I thought maybe the hat moved, right? Didn't, didn't piece that together. Didn't think about the tail, though. What could that mean? These bloodstains can't be Orla's own blood from when she was headbutting. Okay, that makes sense. Where did, she, where did the blood come from? It's my firm belief that it's the victim's blood. Okay. Okay, that opens up something. At least one thing. The victim was killed right in front of her. And the victim's blood splattered onto her body. Oh, God. Oh, there goes your underwear. Well, you know, no harm, no foul. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Phoenix is pointing. Look at that shit. Now it finally all makes sense. Orla was a witness to the murder. So that's why. Oh, goodness me. Okay, I'm getting it now. Orla? Boss, something's wrong with her. What? You're right. She's listless and she's sinking. Yeah, I remember that. Did someone try to poison her because she was the witness? There was one more fact that ind indicates that Orla was a witness to the murder. There's more? Oh, no. Colbert was afraid that Orla could somehow reveal what she witnessed. And that's why they did what they did. It's the only thing that makes sense. No! They tried to poison her. They tried to put her to sleep. I have to present that evidence. I got you, Phoenix. I'm on the same page as you. We got this. That evidence that proves the culprit thought Orla was a dangerous witness. It's this. Take that! Oh, Jesus. The defense would like to submit this evidence. What's this? It looks like some sort of medicine. It's a sleeping drug, Your Honor. A very powerful one. This sleeping drug was discovered in Orla's stomach yesterday. The culprit tried to drown Orla by putting her into a deep sleep. Uh, tried to drown the orca? But, but, but why? Right, Dono. Are you trying to tell this court? That the perpetrator tried to kill the orca off to prevent a witness from talking? Do you really expect to defeat me with that feeble attack? Y yes My sword has been drawn. I'm not about to sheathe my evidence now. <laughs> Holy fucking crap, I almost read that wrong. Orcas have an enormous potential for intelligence. The possibility that Orla could somehow manage to reveal the truth can't be denied. The culprit believed in this possibility and that's why they tried to kill her. Phoenix, go on! Dr. Herman Crabbe, you purchased the sleeping drug, didn't you? Oh no, come on, you didn't do this, did you? What? Does that mean the veterinarian tried to do away with the orca? Who but a veterinarian would better know how to disguise an orca's death? He could even prevent the police from examining her body. No, I wanted to like you. Please tell me you didn't do this. Why, you Morty? Are you actually accusing me of trying to murder the orca? You didn't do it? I want to believe that you didn't. What was that? How dare you slander the noble profession of veterinarian? What? Whoa, what, what was he doing just then? I couldn't see behind the podium. Like, what was that? My goodness, one could cut the tension of this courtroom with a knife. Oh, is he kicking it? Is that what that is? I admit to purchasing that sleeping drug. However, it was subsequently stolen from my lab. It was? That's such a flimsy excuse. I want to believe him, though. It's the truth, Morty. What else can I say? Any one of the crew members could have entered my lab. I guess that weakens my evidence quite a bit. But can we find out who did it? Besides, think about it for a minute, Morty. Who was it that treated Orla after she swallowed the drug? That is true. It was I. But as I recall, it took you quite a while to give that treatment. You didn't even come on your own. We had to go get you. That is true. Son of a bitch! 
You just remember all the source little details, don't you, Mr. Lawyer? Ha! <laughs> sure do. The orc pool in the lab are far apart. It's little wonder he didn't know about all his condition. He does know, though. We have something that shows it. Didn't know? That's highly doubtful. As far apart as they were, Dr. Krabs still had a way to know about all Orla's condition. Oh shit, yes we know. The defense would like to submit evidence that the witness knew about Orla's condition. Right here. It's this. Take that! It's this little compact laptop. The torpedo. Ugh! You just had to bring that up. I told you that we might have to. I mean, I said it. With this advanced data system, surely you would have known Orla's condition. Objection. Oh, Jesus. Wait just one minute. What is this torpedo? Dr. Crab, how dare you bring a weapon of mass destruction to my courtroom? The torpedo or teleobservation real-time pertinent data organizer is a data system. Phoenix, I'm surprised you fucking remember that whole thing, because I surely didn't. Until yesterday, only Dr. Crab and Mr. Shipley knew about it. It isn't legally approved in this country, so it was kept secret from the police. It's illegal? Dr. Crab, I demand an explanation. Oh, look at Ra Oh, look at Sniper! She's trying to- she's trying to put it to his head to make him feel better. Oh my god. Son of a bitch, you and your big mouth, Mr. Lawyer. Yeah, it's true, Morty. I'm using an illegal system to monitor the creatures at the aquarium. The system uses sensors like these, and yes, there's one in the orca pool, too. These sensors send sound waves through the water to gather data on the creatures. If it finds abnormalities in their condition, the torpedo alerts me with a sound. Oh my goodness! How very high-tech! But if it's illegal, I will not turn a blind eye. This matter will be appropriately dealt with at a separate time. Now then, Mr. Wright, please continue. God, I'm sorry, guys. I think we're gonna have to continue in the next one because my voice fucking hurts. I just pray that I get better soon. I'm doing all I can to rest and get better as best I can. I've even taken off streams because it just hurts so much. But I didn't want to slack on this because I want to know what's happening. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, and I will see you soon in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Toodaloo!